Alright you guys, this is Nathan Fav here is in the process of moving the pellets and skinning out my squirrel. Here are the two pellets from my crossman Nitro Venom Dusk. This one was in his lungs, this one was in his this one was in his lungs, that was in his chest. It's a good lung shot. Look at his nose, the bubbles in it. And then me and my neighbor before he we went to college, we'd hunt squirrels with predator polymags and everything. 22 caliber. I found another pellet in his back and I was like, that's weird, I only shot him twice. This is the pellet I found in his back. A predator polymag in 22 caliber. There's only, there's really few times I ever used him on squirrels. Me and him used him on squirrels a couple times with his Benjamin trail. But I found this in the squirrel's back. So this squirrel has been around for quite a long time. He, uh, he, last time he hunted was like before school got out. We probably shot this squirrel before winter, uh, or during winter, and somehow he managed to survive and act like a normal squirrel with a 22 caliber cross from a 22 caliber pellet in his back. I I was like, why is there a third pellet in it when I went to skin him or take to get him the pellets out and meat and get the meat out? And I went, I was cutting it out and I found a freaking 22 caliber uh, Prairie Pollen mag. There are my two Nitro Venom Dusk pellets because I, I haven't shot any Prairie Pollen mags out of it yet. I've only used the cross from from your hollow points. And this is from, this is a Predator Polymag. I've never had this happen before. But anyways, I just thought it was cool and I thought I'd let you guys know. I has been 95 here with one of, with my triple kill conclusion and one tough motherfucking squirrel. Alright, bye.